I am Rajda here. I am here to say about a important leader, a great leader, a freedom fighter, a hero of our country named Gandhi ji. And I wish you a happy Gandhi Jayanti. He is born on October 2, 1869 at Gujarat. He is a lawyer too. He went to London to study as a barrister. He feels shy to speak in crowds. This man led our country to get freedom. He played an important role in some major protests like Dandy March, Quiet India Movement and Non-Cooperation Movement. These protests done by him helped us to get freedom. He inspired many students to take a better and a peaceful approach. Do you know when International Day of Nonviolence is celebrated? It is celebrated today, friends. This is declared by United Nations at June 15, 2007 to convey the message nonviolence in protest. He inspired many Indian citizens to peacefully protest against the British. Now I am going to say about an important monument of Gandhiji named Rajgarh. This is an image of Rajgarh and this is a manuscript which is in Rajgarh. And this is the father of Gandhiji named Karamchand Gandhi. This is the mother of Gandhiji named Putlibai Gandhi. And he is a 43rd president of our Indian National Congress. Thank you friends. I think so you learned something about Gandhiji today. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello friends. I hope you heard Rajita. Yes, she said about the great Mahatma Gandhiji. I am here to add more information to this speech. By the way, I am Pranay Dharimvirgan. Let's zoom in. Mahatma Gandhi lovingly called us Bapu. Bapu means father. His quotes and principles that are observed with the utmost importance to this day. His inspirational words and philosophy attracted people to live their lives based on a strong principle. Gandhi ji has a philosophy. Ahimsa, truth and love. With these three things, we can live peacefully. His memory has been an uh, encouraging uh, influence and a heartening memory to all of us till today. We all know that Gandhiji has always believed in youth. The youth of a country together has the power to push the mountains and achieve whatever they want to. Gandhi always believed that the youth of a nation is responsible for the uplift and development of a nation. The nation's responsibility lies on the youth's shoulder. Sentiments, actions and unity together the citizens of a country led by the upcoming generations. I want to share a few things which I know and which Mahatma Gandhi has teached us. Live life to the fullest. Always speak the truth. Let the change begin in from you. Believe in love. Think before you act. Live to learn. Be positive. Learn to forgive. Be true to yourself. Care for our Mother Earth. So we all know that Mahatma Gandhi has struggled a lot to get independence. Let's also see about that. Mahatma Gandhi never praised himself. In case he only wanted the nation to realize its potential and prove the Britishers wrong. Ma to speak about Mahatma Gandhi alone would be like going against his wishes. The hardship and the struggle which India worked for centuries is incomparable with anything else today. And here we stand. All because of our freedom fighters and especially Mahatma Gandhi who contributed himself to the soil to free us. 
Friends, I wish you a happy Gandhi Jayanti. Thank you. Have a nice day.